Hello, hello. This is my first time streaming this week. I've been dog sitting. That's why. Honestly, not sure how long I can really play tonight. Because dog sitting. <laughs> the folks will be back eventually. Uh, but it, it's a long one. Probably the longest time I've been watching these thick critters in one sitting. So, yeah, this might be the only stream this week. We'll see, we'll see. But don't worry, next week I'll be back in business. If you care. <laughs> Alright, so where the heck is my... Oh, goodness. I need to rename my stream, don't I? Well, not really. It's part two. I think it'll work. But maybe I should rename it anyway. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll rename it for the VOD. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's as right now, so nothing too interesting. Let's see. Oh, I should probably get my uh, damn Twitch phone up. <laughs> so that I can see what people say to me. And also marvel at the bizarre censorship. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, almost ready. Almost ready. Ah, who am I kidding? I am impatient. Countdown says what? Let's cheat. Maybe we'll do a half, a little bit of a head start, and I need to mute myself before you can hear my talk, my my stream. Didn't realize I had that open. You don't need to hear me twice. All right, this is good. Let's start. I'm bored. <laughs> All right. So, I am going to be playing the sequel to Desert Rose today. Has no change in the stream title. Now the cool thing is, as I think I mentioned before, the creator of these modules is still very much active. 
and after I played Desert Rose 1, the creator released a new version that has at least, it looks like quite a few of the bugs I encountered fixed up, which is very cool. Um, I'm not sure if you can still fall off the roofs as you're, as you're running through the rooftops, but there's, uh, there is a way to get to the marketplace from, from the bottom, just in case. <laughs> Um, and it looks like quite a few of the messages and stuff have been fixed up. Now the cool thing is, um, since, uh, and I credit myself a little bit, um, the fellow also released a newer version of the sequel before I got a chance to play it, which also, I think, may have hit some of those uh, bugs that might have been there. So, we'll see. It might still be a little buggy. Sometimes that happens, but... It might not, which would be cool. Sorry, I'm rather incoherent today. So, what does this say? It's the Desert Rose 2 Petals of War. A single player, mostly linear adventure for 13th level rogues. Um, it has been nearly a year since you vowed to stop being the Black Hand. Yes, I remember that. Now events conspire to return the Black Hand to action. Oh, that sounds fun. It's interesting to know that my character actually did uh, decide to comply with her father's wishes and wasn't just lying for the hell of it. I did work hard to resurrect him, after all. Alright, pre-made character. Shifting through the stable. There we go, Tali Ishak, who is level 13 exactly. Nice. I have no money. <laughs> if I started at a lower level, they might give me money. Oh, well. Sorry. Oh. This is uh, interesting. Tali, my daughter. You've been faithful to your vow this past year. Indeed, that is so. I've asked you to come down here because I have an important task for you. Hmm. This is Darius. He has brought credentials, claiming to be my immediate heir. Uh, excuse me? What? Since you dismantled the lower eight levels of the palace dungeon, I decided to reopen the ninth level. During the past year, I hired dwarves from the eastern mountains to clear the rubble out of here and repair the earthquake damage. Prove to me, once and for all, that you are my daughter. I need you to fit this dungeon with traps. I set a similar task to Darius earlier today. As you know, your old gear is locked away. There's an assortment of some of my old traps in that rack by the wall for you to work with. Oh, I did have a lot of good traps. Set them in the dungeon however you wish. Oh, this is interesting. We shall wait here while you work. When you feel you're satisfied, come tell me and I shall have it tested. Oh, I'm not sure what I think about this. <laughs> Fail in this task and I shall disown you and declare Darius the rightful heir to my throne. Yes, father. This seems like a weird skill set for a princess, and I appreciate the cleavage shot again. <laughs> Gotta start with some fan service. Alright, so let's talk to the Sultan. I have faith in you, my father, my child. Alright, how can you believe anything this man tells you? No, no, there's no need to be insulting. I mean, I think it's a fair question. I do hope that you and I can get along. You're trying to depose me. Not sure what I think about this. Alright. Let's save. A, a test. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Oh.
All right, let's see, let's see. Average chat. Okay, well, I guess I guess they don't want me using the good stuff because I would probably accidentally kill this guy. Some of those traps I'd had from the first two levels of or first eight levels of this dungeon were pretty nasty, as I recall. Oh goodness, there's a lot of traps. I feel like I'm gonna fail the first time through. <laughs> yep, not entirely certain what they have in mind, but this is kind of cool. I'm glad I put points in. All right, let's see. I feel like. Well, I feel like oh, deadly. Let's do. Set one here, I think. Might as well start the way you mean to proceed, right? At least I think so. Did I botch it? I think maybe I did. Hold on. Set trap. Let's see how it's shaped. Decent, decent. I wonder if I need all of these, because I kind of want to save some for myself later. Alright, obviously... Now, if he's anything like me, he's kind of careless when he takes corners, so I'm going to try to set one here. And here. There we go. Just a little bit of a path in between. Obviously we want something in the middle here. Hmm. I wonder if I get to walk through his dungeon. That sounds a little dirty now that I think about it. I'm gonna walk through your dungeon. Let's make it completely impassable here. At least as close to it as I can manage. Alright. Like, does my dad want me to kill him or just inconvenience him? Mm, there we go, some crisscross. He's gonna have to set off one or two of those, huh? Hmm. Maybe I should kind of stake out the lay of the rest of this before I... Because I don't know how big of an area I'm dealing with. I know I want to save the most powerful to the end, because my thought is I'll want to weaken him. And then maybe the later ones can kill him. I mean, I don't know, that's probably not the best way to look at things, but there we go. Okay. All right, looks like we got a decent amount of tricky stuff over here. All right, so I put some s only up there so far. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Okay, comes full circle. I see, I see. Hmm, not sure I like that. Not sure I like that at all. Oh, okay, it doesn't really, does it? Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll work backwards with the deadliest. Just 
There's a prisoner in here. What the heck? Where's that? Ah. Who's that guy? Alright. Alright, well, let's get the deadlier traps around here, I think. Now, he can come in a couple different directions, obviously. Minor. I thought there was one or two really strong ones. Let's go with this one. And a tangle trap. And a negative trap. Oh, shoot. Okay. What's up that way? Hmm. Oh, maybe I'm wrong about that being the destination. I was figuring it was, but maybe not. Hello, Obsessive Repulsive. I am planting traps. Apparently, I have a rival to my father's throne. And I need to deal with him accordingly. My dad has some really interesting ways of proving leadership. And apparently, it includes setting up traps. Alright. This seems like a useless place to put a trap, but I will put one here. Just for the heck of it. Just in case. But most of them I'm going to plant on the actual pathway. Uh, no, I'm an only child in real life. I do not have a rival claimant for my father's throne. Hmm. This is true. <laughs> this is... Possibly my only day this week streaming, though, because I am dog-sitting, and I'm not really sure how long I'll be able to keep streaming anyway, because dogs are fucking annoying. <laughs> I like them well enough. That's what I think? Could be, could be. So what are you up to, Ops? Let's see. I saved before I embarked on this, so just in case I really fuck up, I'll be able to do it again. Let's see. I definitely like putting these in corners. Oh! I don't have a lot of clips. I'm a little jealous of people who do. I'm just not very clippable, I think. Ah, Plin showed you how. He does get a lot of traffic on those little clips. I'm impressed and a little jealous. That's okay, though. Alright. Let's see. There we go. That It will be very difficult to walk past all of these. Possibly not impossible, but definitely difficult. I feel like... I feel like it's doable. So let's see, I want to get somewhere up in this nexus of pathways. I like how my dad's just like, oh by the way, here's a rival claimant for you. Excuse me dad? <laughs> what? Really? This module set... <laughs> oh shit, okay. You know, I'm incredibly out of practice with this voice. I, I would like just like this to know. 
So anyway, I'm trying to plot this guy's death with traps. Uh, because he is a rival for my father's throne. Yeah, I thought you might like this one. Um, so. Oh shit, that's a really small trap. He's gonna be able to walk around that. I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Oh hey, I've got more traps here. I forgot about them. So. <laughs> the nice thing is, as a thief character, I almost never do anything with traps. So, I kind of, I kind of love how this module kind of gives me a reason to do that. On the other hand, I do not like the shape of these fucking traps. It's very annoying. Um, yeah, so this is cool. So, I don't... Yeah, you saw me playing the first first one of these, I, I think. I had... I was a thief, and I had to save my dad's life, only he died and tortured for a genie lamp. That was very sad. But, I saved his life, and thus, I promised not to be a thief anymore, because that was kind of undermining his role. And I said, okay, because, you know, after you resurrect someone from the dead, kind of, so to speak, it seems silly to just go, no, no, I'm not going to do it. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm losing my, uh, my helium. So I did, I did agree. And apparently, my character has held up to it all this time. All right, now what do I do with the last five traps? I've got some up here, I've got some up here, I've got a little few down here. Not very many over here, but I'm not really sure the guy will have any reason to go up there. So it seems like kind of a waste. Or over here for that matter. I'd rather put the trap where I think he's definitely going to go. So maybe over here. Plotting a man's death because one is likely to die doing this. I'm actually playing a chaotic good character, so I'm not really sure this fits my role play. I just like that known game. But, well, you know how it is. No, no, I get to, I, I did not put a time limit on this, I, I, so I can basically stop whenever I want. Sucks to be you. <laughs> you already gave me your points, I, I don't have to do shit. What are you going to do, take them back? I'd like to see you try. Hello, Robert Douglas. I am speaking in a pixie voice at the moment. Don't mind me. I am also trying to kill some guy with traps. Look at all these green. Do you think he'll walk in some of these traps? I hope so. I do. I do. All right. Uh, where to put the last one? I feel like the last... The, my trapping is very front heavy. I feel like that could possibly work against me. Oh, well. My day's been good. My day's been good. I've been at work. Work was work. <laughs> I like my job, but I took uh, two extra days off this week. So now that I'm at work, I'm like, oh, I could really use another day off, which is ungrateful. All right. I guess maybe I'll put this here. And now I'm going to stop talking like a pixie so I can see if this actually worked. That is a lot of Douglas. <laughs> All right. So... Now let me take my princess back to her dad and see if these traps are at all strategically set in a way that will be functional. I'm, I'm kind of assuming I'm going to fail this time, though. <laughs> but next time. Next time, I will learn from my mistakes. I saved. I'm good. You are really old, Ubs. It's true. It's true. We both are. The kids don't understand. They don't remember what it was like to watch televisions that actually had backs to them. For a long time, it took me for ages to get used to a flat screen because um, I felt like you were looking at someone's face without the back of their head. Hmm. Agreed. Agreed. All right. So let's see if I did a good job setting up these traps. Hello, Dad. Hello, asshole. 
Apparently, if I used this, I could bypass this entire challenge, but I wouldn't get any rewards, so I'm not going to do that. I am satisfied with the placement of your traps, Father. If you're certain of that, then I shall test them by releasing the prisoner. Oh, shit. Is the prisoner from... Oh. Okay. All right. I was not realizing that the prisoner was the person we were fucking around with, so I'm doing this backwards. Oh, well. <laughs> He uses a fine trap scroll? That's rude. Alright, so there's the guy. Huh. Wasn't anticipating that. Alright. What are you gonna do? Ah, shit. <laughs> no! No, he bypassed my first set of traps. No, this guy. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Ha! <laughs> got him once. Hello. How are you doing? I didn't know. <laughs> ah, I'm just kind of weird. Hmm. Not too difficult. Oh, you fuck off, you you dude. I hope you die. I just feel like it's talking to someone who doesn't have the back of their head. Ah, no! I definitely need to set these traps better next time. This has a little more oomph to it. Let's see you get around these, you fuckhead. Question mark. Yeah? 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 Come on. Shit. That got you once. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Got you again. Damn it. Am I supposed to be trying to kill this prisoner? Because I thought it were, I thought Darius was gonna go through this. All right. I mean, I am kind of good. I'm not sure I should be trying to kill a prisoner. I feel kind of guilty right now. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is backwards. Shit. I did not realize. It makes more sense this way now that I think about it. Alright. Question mark. Ooh. Shit. No. Don't miss my traps. I got one more set. Got one more set for this fucker. Question mark. No. Question mark. Question mark. No, don't miss my trap. No. Ah, he evaded it. No. No, don't run around it. Asshole. Stop escaping. Only I'm allowed to escape this place. Hmm. I'll have to try this again. <laughs> Hello, Cecil Scott. <laughs> that is very funny. Your partner told you you had no sense of direction. And you were so mad you packed up your stuff and right. Mm. It seems like she was left about you. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. They've only got a few traps left. Let me kill him. Woo! Poison gas. Ah, oh, shit, I think that was my last trap. I did not succeed in, in defeating this guy. Shit. Uh, yep, he's just running around those. Oh, no, no. Come on, come on. 
crap. Oh, one more. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's not going to kill him. This is my last one. Uh... Alas. Hmm, that's true. That's true. Drat! He made it out. Well, next time I'll get the fucker. I did fail. Objective failed. All right. Fuck. That's annoying. All right. A test. Let's reload. All right. All right. So, now that I know this is the end and and not the beginning, let's go get the traps I need and let's fucking top load this fucker. Okay, so I know I saw some deadlies. Let's put the deadly here. Eh, I'm not sure I wanted to put it against the wall like that. Yeah, that's not good. Let's take that off. Alright. Automatic success! Woo! Oh shit, I disabled it. Fuck. Not my intention. <laughs> I just wasted a fucking t trap. Alright, I meant to recover it. I used the wrong prompt. <sighs> Farfig Nugan. Alright, I can kill this man. This seems kind of sadistic, to be honest with you, but okay. Alright, who am I to judge my dad? Alright, so let's quick save. <laughs> Alright, now how am I going to do this? I want to... He bypassed too many of my traps and I don't like that. So... Deadly negative trap kit. Let's put that here. Hmm. Don't know if I like that. Deadly Spike Trap Kit. We're going to put that here. Okay. Strong Tangle Trap Kit. We're going to put right here. Yep. <laughs> Wondering why we're getting dad jokes? Because uh, dad's making me do a test here. I have to murder a prisoner with traps. Okay. I'm going to put them all like right in this gauntlet string here. All right. Yeah, I do not like the shape of some of these traps. No, he's just going to walk around that. Let's just recover that one. Did I get it? Where'd it go? That one?
put it here. There we go. I ain't letting this guy pass me. I got a lot of these. Makes me wonder if I used them all last time. Hmm. Don't think I like the placement of this one. Here. There we go. Okay. We'll take a few more down this way. That might be too close to the edge. Stop that. All right. Hmm, he's going to run around that. There we go. How many do I have left? Oh, a fair bit, actually. Okay. Mm, too centered, I think. Uh oh. I put down I put down a frost trap kit and got back an acid trap kit. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess it didn't really Alright, that's better. Less less fuckery to get around. Alright, let's get that one here. Hmm, too far apart. <laughs> hey, he can still move around that, I think, though. And he probably will. I need to move it a little farther over. Hmm. Okay. That's too centered, I think, again. Yeah, far too centered. Mm. 
No, it's still too centered. What the hell? Stop it. <laughs> I need it to be on one side so that I can block both sides so that he doesn't run around the fucking thing. Not better. Hmm. I think he still might run past that, but we'll see, we'll see. Hmm. I need to murder this man. I need to murder this man. I need to murder, 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 murder this man. With traps, which seems kind of mean. But it's my job. Because I'm the queen. Wait. I don't think that makes sense. This is a weird test, Dad. Very weird test. There we are. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll see if I do better this time. If I don't, I'm fucked. Okay. The idea is he should try get hit by at least some of these when he's running around through them. I'm hoping. <laughs> so let's get back to dad and get this going. I went through the entire map last time. I'm not doing it again. Princess Tali, Mary is she? Tali is shuck. The song doesn't quite scan, but what can you do? It's the song I least remember from the damn movie. Yeah. La 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 la. Setting up traps indeed. Gonna kill this guy with traps even if it takes me all fucking night to get this ranged. Indubitably. Huh. This dude is gonna die. Yeah. Two traps that fall from the sky. Yeah, I don't think I have any traps like that. But that's what we call artistic license. Also, I'm still trying to kill this guy. Yeah, I don't think this is... I think a lot of these traps are too thin for him to get it. But we'll see. Let's give it a shot. Hello, Dad. I'm satisfied. By all means. Alright, this dude. Let's watch him. Cheer for him to die. He is running straight into gauntlet number one. He's not going to hit that one, it occurs to me. He can see it too clearly. Yes, that is one. That is one. He missed two. Damn. Ah, poison. Gonna have to hit one of them, dude. Hmm. How come the Pathfinder's never that good when, uh... When there are NBCs, right? Fuck, that's not fair. Alright. Come on. And of course he's clinging to the wall. 
Eh, should have put more on that side of things. Well, next time. I'm going to have it next time, clearly. What are you doing? What the hell? I am perplexed. <sighs> Look at that. Come on, just die already. This is not going to work. I don't want to do it again, but I want the reward, so I'm going to have to keep trying. Alright, come on dude, time for you to die. Ha, huh. at least you got that one. He's just gonna run around it. Hmm, he didn't. Still didn't kill him. But I guess there's always a chance. Almost there. Not really. Come on, dude. I want you to die. Come on, come on. I want to do this again. Ah, shoot. He ran past the other one. Do, 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 do. There's probably a trick to it. <laughs> There's a trick to it that I don't know. The strategic trap placing trick. God, he's almost to the end. I still haven't killed his ass. He's gonna make it. And I'm gonna have to reload. I don't want to reload. Not again. I'm sleepy. Of course, they took all the good traps I had from the first game and gave me these crappy traps instead. Could have killed them with a few of the first game's traps. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Alright, alright. Well, got a little bit more of a shot here. Not much, but some. Go, go, go. Run the gauntlet. You can do it. Die. <laughs> that was fun. Went over a little bit. Went over a little bit. Yes! <laughs> Come on, get... Go to full twofer! Get the last one! Ha! No more. No more over here to get... run into. There are a few more at the end. Come on, come on, come on. Please get... Please die. Please. There we are. No! He passed it. He's going to live, much to my irritation. Come on! No! Shit. He's gonna get past these ones. Mm. Yes! <laughs> Death 
for you! <laughs> Ow, I hurt my arm doing that. <laughs> All right, let's see. What does my journal say? Oh, I actually don't need this note anymore. <laughs> the new palace dungeon. Your placement of traps within the new palace dungeon was successful. Well then. And there's my dad. Anything else I can do around here? Does not appear so. So let's tilt myself a little bit and talk to dad. Well done, Tally. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, father. Darius failed at a similar task earlier. I sent that imposter away, as long as, along with his forged credentials. You were never fooled by him, were you? Of course not, dear. Sultan, thank the Lord Giver that you are all right. What's the matter? A strange spider-like machine creature has broken into the palace. <laughs> Then destroy it. I would that I could, Your Majesty. But our weapons are unable to penetrate its hide. Tally, the Black Hand's old gear might be of some use here. I agree. As you know, that equipment is sealed in the Royal Treasury. That's a decent place to put it. You shall have to make your way to my royal bedroom first and obtain the treasury key. Is this another test, Dad? If you're not, I can do this. Now oh, look at how comfy my room looks. It does pay to be a princess, doesn't it? Not even attempt to engage the machine creature in combat until you have the equipment. Right. Ah, okay. Captain, I must I must stand guard over the Sultan while you deal with the mechanical intruder. I mean, look at that. That bed looks so comfortable. And is this a bath? Look at that bath. That is so comfy looking. Alright, so I gotta get the fuck out of here, yeah? Yeah. My pointy shoes. <laughs> okay. So, I don't have anything really worth anything, do I? Alright. <laughs> Poor Rush, getting your tender ears. Alright, oh, let's look at the basket. Is there anything in the basket useful? I gotta loot my dad's palace as I'm walking through. Hello there. Hey, let me get around you, you fuckheads. Nope, this way, this way. The AI can make its way around so many fucking traps, but this fucking girl can't get, can't get through a fuck, past her fucking father. Come on. What the fuck, man? This way. <laughs> Why can't I get over there? Thank you. Finally. No! Stop! What the fuck? The AI for that guy could bypass nearly every tr thing I have, and I can't get over here. Why can't I get over here again? If you could move, you asshole. I want to see what's in that fucking basket. Can't I get over here? That's insane. Ah! Alright, I'm getting out this way. Maybe I can get in through the opposite way when I get out of this fucking... Seriously, what the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna go in the other door. You asshole. And that's the treasury. I remember this place. Alright, fine. There we go. Now what's in my basket? Oh! Hey! That was actually kind of worth it. Stab boost. Alright. So. Let's save. Do the treasure. 
I killed that dude. I am so happy. I'm so happy. I feel like that probably... Oh, hello. I'm glad I'm sneaking around. Hello, sir. How are you today? You're, um, very big. It looks it looks like the mechanical spider from Galaxy Rangers where where they uh what they use to um to invade and steal the uh emotion doll in the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. That's what it looks like to me. It has been a while since I've watched that show. I should watch it again. Alright. Sneaking in here. Hello. Palace hallway. That's the palace exit. I don't want to go there. I want to go to my dad's room. I thought that was around this way. Perhaps I'm incorrect, but I thought it was over here. Can I talk to the guard? At least you're not trying to kill me this time. Hello. My greetings. Emerus. As you were. <laughs> not sending the guy to die. It's my job to kill that thing. My XP, goddammit. Oh. I don't mean me, I'm just picking the lock to my dad's room, as I do all the, occasionally. I thought you were tired from thiefdom. I did. Ooh. Dad, why do you do this to me? Booby trapping my own stuff. Why? Why? Not possible, really? Ah. Alright. There's the treasury key. Is there anything else I can steal from my dad while I'm here? Why would I steal from my dad, you might ask? Well, why wouldn't I? My dad was the Desert Rose, and I was the Black Hand. It's kind of funny, because I think the Black Hand sounds like the more ma masculine code name. <laughs> One of the reasons why I decided, or I played a girl for this, is I thought the Desert... Because I misread it and thought the Desert Rose was going to be the code name. And I'm like, well, that sounds kind of feminine. <laughs> As it turns out, no. I was wrong. That'd teach me to, not to gender stereotype, right? Alright. So. The cat in the, is in her bed. The dogs are quiet upstairs. I have to take them out at some point in the near future. Because they're annoying. They're actually kind of cute. <sighs> There's a yawn. It's been a busy week. <laughs> I claim. Even though I took the Monday and Tuesday off. But I spent those days dog sitting. Still dog sitting. On the plus side, it gives me the excuse to to get all the pungent food that my uh, my parents hate. <laughs> the smell of. Like Thai and Indian. Which I can get anyway, but still. Alright, we are in the treasury. Let's look in the pile of gold. Gold. Yes, I am robbing the treasury. Why wouldn't I? Dad never, never lets me rob the treasury. It's like he thinks I'm going to do something illegal with his money. Checkpoint. Well, now. I was actually thinking of being the other one. The intruder. You managed to enter the palace treasury and reach the Black Hand's old gear. Hopefully you can use it to stop the spider machine creature. Alright, well let's see what we got. I've got a PC properties. Don't think I need that. Bracers of dexterity, one. Ring unidentified that I never actually identified, which is a bit of a shame and I don't know what to do with that. I feel like the health though should be useful. We have one of these. Actually. We have some of these. I have the Nimble Thief's Nimble Knife. Uh, and a belt. I can't... I oh, I can identify that. Nice. Thieves Hood. Immunity Knockdown Poison. Yes, let's use that for now. I'm not searching for anything or I'll switch out to the other one. 
studded leather armor because I do look dashing in blue. Boots unidentified. Oh, greater boots are tumbling. Oh, hello. A quarter staff plus three, which might be useful if I have need of a weapon with a bit little more oomph than I've got. Equip and equip offhand. I do have a fair bit of cool stuff, I think. Don't I? For a thief? Like epic electrical traps that sell for like 6,000 gold apiece, which means you know they're epic. Epic. Poisons. Deadly acid traps. The thing from a ghost that I never really figured out what you do with, but it's cool to have anyway. Codex Dominarum, some journals, a torch, and potions. Always good to have a diamond or two, right? And some weird cleric robes. My flying carpet! Will it actually work? I do not know. But I will try to see. Because the flying carpet is neat. There we go. Some potions have actually keep me alive shit. The helmet of searching for shit. Oh fuck, I am overloaded. Shut up. Not happening. Did I have a bag? I did not. Alright. Hmm. I thought I had a bag. Oh dear. Did I encounter that bug? Might have. Well, that's alright. Maybe there'll be a bag somewhere else. And if not... I'm not jettisoning my shit. Okay, hold on. In the meantime, let's put that here. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I lost... The I thought I had a bag of holding. Hold on. I don't want to cheat. I just want to see if I had any bags. One sec. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load, or I'm going to exit my menu. I'm going to pop over to Zarkos for a minute, or possibly the character creator, and see if my character had any bags. She might not, in which case, fair enough. But if she did and I lost it, then... Because there is a common bug in with item strips that sometimes you lose the containers that you kept things in. I don't remember if I had a container, so let's find out. This one will do. It's not quite as busy as Orko's. Let me select my pre-made character. We need second of Tali. Not Vipsani or Vezrin. Tali. I have good portraits. Alright, so let's see what I got. I have... Nope, it doesn't look like I do have a bag. Alright, well... Then I can't, in good conscience, create myself one. Too bad. Too bad. Alright, well, back to the treasury. I thought I had one. I think I had the opportunity to buy one, and I chose not to. Which was stupid. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was thinking. Seems very uncharacteristic of me. But okay. I guess I'll just have to walk really slowly. I'm trying to kill that guy, so maybe it'll be fine. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, the flying carpet has lost its magic. That makes me sad. I, I guess that happens. I don't want to leave it behind, though. Though it would give me more space to carry things. Ah, <sighs> For sentimental reasons, I'll keep it. The carpet in Aladdin was a good f good friend, as I recall. Alright, so let's stealth my way out of here and sneak attack a mechanical spider. If only there was a bag of holding in the treasury. Hello. 
You seem fun. I am walking very slowly. This is because I am intentionally menacing. Not because I can't move. Ow. And I cannot seem to hit this fucker. Can I try again? Thank you. Sh ah, yes. No, that was me him attacking me. I can't hit him. That fucking sucks. Okay. I mean to sneak attacks. Well, that's good to know. At least I damaged him a little bit. Hmm. Stop killing me. No. Alright. There we go. And now I'm dead. Let's try this again. <laughs> this fucker hits hard, doesn't he? Actually, I hate to waste, but. But, Master, you and luck is up your sleeve. You got a brand of magic never fails. I do have one of these. Let's go with this. Got some power in your corner. Now it's some heavy ammunition in your can. Got some bunch of pizzazz, yahoo and how. And all you gotta do is rub that lamp and I'll say, Mr. Aladdin, sir, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. Have some of column A, try all of column B. I'm in the mood to help you, dude. You ain't never had a friend like me. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend. Oh, it still sees me. That's not good. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend like me. Leave me alone. Haha. -ha. Fucker can't see me. Now I'm gonna shoot you in the head. That ah, still sees me. No. Stop. Leave me alone, you fuckhead. Leave me alone. This thing's got good sensors, unfortunately. See? I need to get far enough away to... I don't have point, point blank shots, so I need to get far enough away that I can actually hit him. Without him hitting me, damn it. There we go. That works. <laughs> Line of sight. I'm gonna fucking ping him to death. No, stop killing me. There we go. Ooh, some remains. What's in the remains? Ooh, money. Money in the remains. This is too easy. Get some punch, pizzazz, who and how. Shit, it still sees me. And all you gotta do is rub that lamp and I'll say... There we go. What I... What I doing wrong is I'm not exploiting hide in plain sight enough. <laughs> Reroll. <laughs> Shit, he still sees me. Reroll! <sighs> oh, fuck. He still sees me. Oh. There we go, that worked. Oh, stop. Stop trying to kill me. Stop. 
Stop it. Stop trying to kill me, you fucker. Ah, shit. I'm not gonna make it this time. There we go. Alright. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of money. I could sell shit, but... Ooh, I got him down to badly wounded, though. That's good. One... One again? Shit, and he can see me. Alright, fuck. I'm going this way. Stop killing me. What does this do? Mm. Nice. Nice. I don't want to be in search mode. Shit. There we go. This is too easy. We're getting close. We've got him at near death. He's got me at near death. Nice. Not nice. No, stop killing me. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> Not fair. All right. Trying again. Got really close. I should have saved. Should have made a bad idea save during the middle of that. <sighs> I got him down to near death. Near death, I tell you. All right. Let's go back to the bill of strength. Zubble. I wonder if the plus three would not be better to use right now. Maybe it would. Alright. Well, let's both strength anyway. Stop that. Stop! There we go. Alright. You know it's in the George puzzle, and there are a lot of traps, a lot of puzzles, and... things find it really easy to kill me. <laughs> Let's hit him with a sword. Not a sword. Staff. Hi. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna hit you again. Ouch. Yeah, I, I gotta not be over there. Stop it. Stop. Stop hitting me. Ooh, actually. I should keep using this fucking staff. My sword, my mummy sword w is nice, but plus three is a plus three. <laughs> Holy shit, and a plus three is definitely worth it. Look at this. Will I live? Not sure, but uh, I'm doing so far, well so far. I'm definitely not missing too much right now. Where did I get this quarterstaff plus three? And where can I get another one? Fuck, I'm still dying though. We're gonna quick save here. Bad idea? Yes. Doing it anyway? Yes. Come on, die. When I say die, I mean him, not me, you idiot. There we go. How, I, how much you get? Oh, nice. Plot point. Alright. Oh, I, I got some shit. Yay. Now, I think there was some remains over here that was money. Let's get that money. I'm so sad about the flying carpet not working anymore. I suppose... Whoa, look at how dead I am. Look at how dead I am. That is a very dead person. Very, very dead. I love that my bedroom's right near the treasury, too. It's like, we know what you love, daughter. Oh, hey, did you see the loading screen message was about Desert Rose 2? No uh, broken references. I think I, I'd like to claim a little bit of credit for that, because I think the George 
fixed it up while he saw me playing the first one and and then uploaded it this version so I feel like he made it for me kind of well not really made it for everybody but I get to benefit it from it early all right so let's talk to Captain Akbar I'm qu I'm quite tired Emrys you truly are the offspring of the desert roads this is true I'm gonna rest oh yeah I'm still carrying useless garbage. Probably gonna have to sell some shit. But I don't want to sell anything. I just want a bag. Alright, let's see what we got. The intruder. After obtaining your old black hand gear from the palace treasury, you were able to defeat the spider machine creature. Well. Oh. Alright, let's talk to Dad. Hi, Dad. Good work. I knew that the black land <laughs> black hand was just the last the situation called for. Uh, shall I return the equipment? No, I think our kingdom needs the black hand, at least for now. Really? This recent mach yeah, this recent machine attack concerns me greatly. Before I can confirm my suspicions, I need you to climb down the hole it burrowed and enter the palace sewers. Then search for clues as to the creature's origin. Captain Akbar will escort you when you are ready. Okay. I mean, I'd like a place to sell shit. I didn't realize I had so much stuff, but okay. The Sultan has commanded that you hold on to your black hand gear. He's requested that you follow the spider machine's route back to the sewers beneath and search for any possible clues as to its origin. Alright. Well uh, not yet. Is there anything else I can do? Can I run out of the palace doors properly and get to a shop before I go down into the sewers? I'm going to try to do that, I think. Uh, nope. Fuck. Why can't I get out? This fountain is beautiful, but quite hazardous. Got some bunch of pizzazz, yeah, who and how, and all you gotta do is... Oh, more, more remains. Hold on a sec. I didn't realize there were so many remains. Got some munch pizzazz. Whoa, hello. Yahoo and how. And all you gotta do is rub that lamp and I'll say... Mr. Aladdin, sir. What will your pleasure be? I'm in the mood to help you, dude. You ain't never had a friend like me. Life is a restaurant, and I'm your maitre d. Let me take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend like me. Alright, let's get the hell out of here and see if we can get to a shop. Because I'm looking for a shop. They probably will not let me leave. But you never know. Look at how slow I am walking. <laughs> because I have no shop. And I am very slow. You should let royalty leave the palace, friends. It's just proper. Ah, no more window I can jump through. Do 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 No, let me out. I need to go find a shop. I need to go shopping, my friend. Shopping. As you were. Alright, I guess I'm just going to walk very slowly for a long time. Oh well. Tis life. Dad, will you let me sell you shit? Surely you want to buy some wonderful things found by me? Right? Right, my dad? Right? No? You know you robbed the treasury. Yes, I was going to sell your treasury back to you. 
While I approve of your enterprising nature, my dear, I am not going to buy our treasury back from you. After all, you are my heir, so technically it'll go to you eventually. Just consider it in advancing your allowance. Oh, but daddy. But daddy. Alright. Yep, I'm probably going to head out early, like I said, around midnight. Um, I'm not sure if I said that, actually. I was thinking it, so I thought I said it. But the problem with stream of conscious monologues is that it's sometimes hard to keep track of what you did and did not say. So, around midnight, I'll be heading off. It's early. But it is. Uh, are you ready for me to escort you down to the sewers? Yes, Captain. Hello. Okay. Well, I remember this place some. That way got me back into the palace. I think. This was actually the way out. Checkpoint. Well Hello. I don't know how anyone can find anything of use amongst all this garbage. Well, that's my job, isn't it? Alright, I remember this place very well. Let us walk very slowly, very slowly, let us walk. Let us walk very slowly, let very slowly, let us walk. Let us walk very slowly, very slowly, let us walk. We are walking around today. Tra la 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 la. No sluice control this time. Oh no, there it is. But it's not active, so I assume I'm not gonna have to. Oh, hello. Hello, fungus. I'm gonna hit you with a stick. That was very effective. I like the stick. This is my new favorite stick, everybody. I'm going to call it Stick. Perhaps I should call it George, like the George. I've had the weirdest urge to play Cast Little Winds recently. <laughs> Mostly what I, what I remember of it is you can name your weapons. And I remember being quite young, like 12, and naming my weapons all sorts of things that probably weapons should not be named. The sewers seem much less trapped nowadays. Perhaps this is what comes of having a decent maintenance structure. But... I haven't drowned yet. I kind of feel almost anticlimactic. That used to be the entrance. They must have closed it off, bricked it up. Cask of Amontadello to somebody in here. Oh, there's another fungus, fungus, fungus. Let's sneak up and hit it with a stick. There's another fungus, fungus, fungus. Let's sneak up and hit it with a stick. I'm not playing a bard, but I feel like in spirit I am. Hit it with a stick. <laughs> I am laughing as I creep very slowly, very slowly. I am laughing as I creep very slowly, very slowly. I am laughing as I creep very slowly, very slowly. Why does it know I'm coming? How does it not know I'm coming? Gonna hit the stick with a stick, stick, stick. Gonna hit the stick with a stick, stick, stick. Somehow I don't think these lyrics make sense. But that's my problem, not yours. a new book recommendation. Ideally something where the where a male main character suffers horribly. I realize that's kind of a weird requirement, but I uh, I like it. I've always been a wump fic fan. Preferably male. Um it's possibly some ingrained sexism on my part, but I just really like to watch men suffer. It's a thing for me. I'm immune to poison. Sorry, Violet Fungus. One of the things I stole from King Solomon's body was a uh, 
Amulet of something or other. I also have this helmet that is also immune to. I am doubly immune to poison. Alright, nothing to take back from those. It does seem like um, my, my city has a fairly complex aqueduct system. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Not many, not many cities have quite this level of uh, plumbing, I think. But then again, I do have a fountain in my room, so. I like it when, uh, when folks make it, make your character into like someone important and you have a really swanky room or something to, to accommodate it. I don't know why. It makes me smile. If I ever figured out how to add things to Zorko's keep, I would make a uh, make some new properties. I bet I bet a transition into another area where more properties were would be doable. And that would be kind of cool. Like a houseboat would be a cool property, wouldn't it? If we could figure out how to make that. Actually, what I would really want for my demon character is a version of that gem. Book. Oh, sorry. One sec. I, I accidentally enter, exited my chat. <laughs> where, where the fuck is my chat? There it is. All right. So, book one of Ar Ari Ferretta should fit the bill. Unfortunately, the follow-up novels are more stock f standard tropey. Fi I don't mind that either. I just, I just like watching men suffer. So you know, they can be powerful too. Just, I want someone to bash him on the head, or you know, that sort of thing. I mean, worst case scenario, I can always go back to re reading through uh, the Wars of Light and Shadow again. Always fun. Refresh myself. Be oh, I could reread the Foreigner series. That's actually not very wumpy, but it is very thinky, and I rather like it. Because I don't think I read the most recent book. I think I said that last time, and I promptly did not read it. <laughs> so, I'll have to see if I can find a few more. But I will jot that down. Thank you, Rashke. Alright, I'm not seeing... Oh, there we go. There's something I can hit with a stick. I'm very fond of this quarterstaff plus three. You, you know, quarterstaffs, you know, you never really appreciate them. Because they're just a quarterstaff, so they're kind of boring. But holy crap, if you get a plus three quarterstaff and everything else you have is not plus three, it's nice. Damn, this is a, this is a fucking tough fungus. Come on. Come on, Tali. You can he hit him with a stick. Except if you roll a fucking one. What the hell was that? I'm immune to disease, thank goodness. This amulet of health was a good thing. Ah. Self-published technical issues? I have a few. Hungering Saga by Heath Pfaff. Noble Fool. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'll make a note of that. One of my favorite series is a self-published um, gay romance novel series called The Rifter. But actually, I mean, as gay romance novels go, uh, there actually isn't a graphic sex scene until like book six and it's like a blowjob. So it's it's not that bad. <laughs> like some of them, it's they're, they're like rabbits, but not that serious. Um, I really like what it does with time travel and dimension travel. It does some really like the way that the two protagonists, their storylines intertwine is really really cool and it it's done in a very very lovely intricate way that I'd actually never seen before in a time travel series there are some flaws though and like as I think I think maybe she needed a harsher editor for some parts because it's like the one character comes with a couple of friends and the friends kind of have this tragic subplot as it goes um, but they never really get a whole lot of focus so it's just kind of Oh well, that's sad. His friends, his friends are, have suffered through what's going on. I feel bad for him, but given how, the way that the story tends to be towards the end, it would be much stronger if if she focused a bit more about on that relationship and and given the reader a little bit more to care about with those two characters before everything goes to hell. But aside from that, it's a really really good series. I'm I'm very very fond of it. Just like elegant, elegant narrative structure. 
Um, it's one of those where it's like you're reading going it's really a shame that this wasn't traditionally published and gone through the editing process because it's good as it is and you can just see the little things that could could have made it truly magnificent and um, of course obviously you don't you don't get to email the author out of the blue going hey let me help you revise your work to make it amazing but man I would love the chance to revise this person's work and make it amazing because <laughs> it's so close it really is it's just like ah uh, just a little bit of help with pacing in certain parts and and the issue with the original with those original characters ah uh, just a little bit more there it really it could have shown ah uh, gleamed shiny but it's still really good <laughs> It is, it's, but it is part of the reason why I don't tend to review self-published, or right now at least, my book review blog, I don't, I don't do self-published books on there. Um, just because, I don't know, it's like fanfic, it seems a little mean to be as harsh to, um, to things that haven't been through the full editing process. It's like, look, if, if you're getting money, if you're getting money for, and you've gone through this process, you're fair game. <laughs> but self-published folks. I know they, they charge for the book, but it's not quite the same. So, that said, I do have a rant on my own dream with about a self-published book I read. I, I didn't put the title on, though, because it seemed mean. But man, that was a weird-ass book. I could rant about it sometime, but I'm not really sure anyone would be interesting. Okay. No chapters, very long paragraphs, and a few uh, run-on sentences. So, big wall of text. Yeah, I can see that being distracting. It, it is interesting, though. I really do like reading a lot of self-published novels. Especially, especially gay romance novels. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of self-published stuff that's really good. But it is, it's also kind of interesting to read it and go and, and see how you would improve it, too. Super dark fantasy keeps you guessing. Huh. How bad it will end with. Ah, oh, that's fair, that's fair. Ah, that, God, I wonder how the Wars of Light and Shadow are going to end. I, she did something in the 10th book, or the ninth and 10th book that I wouldn't have thought possible. And that is, she did manage to convince me this one character could theoretically be redeemed. And I would not have said that before. That said, I still think for that character... A true redemption kind of have to be a redemption equals death kind of thing. I I don't see the character coping with what happened, what what the character had done in a lot of the earlier books, and still be alive and have a happy ending. I just I just don't see that. Now I've been wrong before, but I mean honestly, and and uh, I was emotionally involved enough with the earlier stuff that I'm not sure I really want him to. And that's kind of mean, but um, I, I, ideally, I would like the character to go out with a heroic sacrifice and save uh, the character that he'd been trying to kill for most of the series. I, I would like that, I think, best. But we'll see. I mean, every book, I think, oh, she's not going to top how batshit, how batshit everything is, and surely the this next book is going to be. Like, what if it doesn't quite deliver what I'm looking for? And that's always a possibility, but this one does. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, maybe she won't make that character suffer too hard. I think maybe only book five is a little lackluster in terms of make, of uh, melodrama and character torture. And even then, I mean, there is the part where um, they have to break his leg to keep him from doing something, and I think it's on his own command, and I think that's pretty hilarious. Like, you're going to have to break my leg. <laughs> this is going to happen. It's like, uh, okay. Snap. <laughs> it's very mellow. I make it sound not melodramatic because I'm incapable of melodrama, which is actually the biggest problem I have writing, is I can't really write the stuff I like to read because I feel, like, self-conscious about it. <laughs> like, I want to make this character tor suffer, but I don't... But if it's all melodrama and, uh, and self-indulgent... I gotta, I gotta embrace my self-indulgence. That's the thing. Go full on. 
so purple as eggplant. Or, or um, I think a line I used in the review that I'm very, very proud of is that it's it's so melodramatic that the purple prose is now bruise colored or something. That's the bastardization of a line, but I thought it was a good line. And I usually I usually don't say clever things, so. All right, let's see. Look at all these funguses. Mushroom soup for everybody tonight. Oh, how about lads? I, now I want some mushroom soup. I don't have any mushroom soup. My leftover is shrimp tikka masala with all the shrimp eaten though. <laughs> Which is good. I like shrimp tikka masala. But it is true that it has all of the... Uh... <laughs> oh, another big hole. Oh, there's something near the big hole. I saw. Wait. There's something gold. It looked like something lootable. Big hole. Big hole. Come on, I saw something gold. I saw the text change. Where did it go? There? There. Signet ring. Ah, thank you for the prompt, just in case. Something small and shiny next to the hole. What is it? What is it? There's my ring of unidentifiedness. Ah, signet ring. Is this Darius's signet ring? Perhaps he tried to have us killed. The band of this ring consists of two moving parts that slowly rotate in opposite opposition to each other. The inset depicts a strange black and red colored symbol. Intriguing. I wonder what happened to the old Sultan. If I recall my character's backstory or what we learned, is that my, my father, the Sultan, became the Sultan because of a wish on a genie lamp. So I wonder what happened to the person he displaced. Alright, let's see. Sewer time. Actually, wait. Ninja Turtle. I figured out that that's why I had a save named Ninja Turtle. <laughs> because I was in the sewer. The creature that entered this palace burrowed beneath the desert sands to reach its destination. Oh, I can't go down it? Oh, well that's mean. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to go up then. Blue is definitely my character's color. Look at that. Do do do. I'm also very fond of the Psychop series by Jordan Castillo Price, which is basically like it reminds me a little bit of the Dresden Files, only much more gay. I mean, sometimes Harry does kinda get really descriptive when it comes to men and you kinda be like, Harry? But um, I don't think he's intended to be bisexual. I think he's just really observant when it comes to men, if you know what I mean. Uh, but in this case, it is actually very gay. And the main character is a medium who is also a cop. I mean... Uh, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't, I don't mind reading about fictional cops in a very fantasy setting, but I, I have been finding it harder to watch more realistic things with cops lately. <sighs> it's the copaganda. And I watched a lot of NCIS. And it's like, that, that show is like steeped in copaganda. <laughs> but it's, it was a fun watch. That said, it still bothers me that I don't like Gibbs. Because I should like Gibbs. But I don't. And it's not Mark Harmon's fault. He does a good job. Actually, I really liked Gary Cole's replacement character, even though I think it's unnecessary and also a little bit hilarious because they're all, they would all be aged out of the FBI, FBI or uh, NCIS real life if, like, Carmen was like seventy something and Gary Gary Cole is like close to seventy. It's like, no, you probably should just let McGee take over. He's the only one age appropriate at this point, but. But old people watch NCIS, so there you go. And old people need an old per person there. I don't know how anyone can find anything of use amongst all this garbage. I did find something significant. Well, I did find something. A signet ring. It might be significant. We should bring it to the Sultan at once. Yes. Let's do that. Alright, back to my room. My room is very comfortable. Why is my room nicer than my dad's? Well, dads and daughters. I don't seem to have a mom, so he probably spoils my character a little bit. 
Captain, Emrys, you truly are the offspring of the Desert Rose. I am, but that's not really a helpful comment at this stage in the game. Well, did you discover any clues in the sewers? Father, in the sewers I found a signet ring bearing a strange symbol. Huh, most intriguing. I do not recognize the symbol either. There's only one place I know of that could po undoubtedly explain this symbol's meaning. The Library of Alexandria. It's said that the library holds one of each book ever written. If I order a royal delegation to Alexandria, then whomever sent the spider creature will certainly be alerted. This is a task better suited for the Black Hand. I am at your command, Father. I think my character quite likes the idea of being a thief on command. Make sure you alter your appearance before you leave the palace. As the Black Hand, you are to travel north across the Great Desert until you reach Alexandria. Since they will not allow you access to their library, you must sneak in and find what information you can, can about this symbol. I shall leave as soon as I'm ready. Um, if I had a place to sell my shit. Oh well, good luck. I fear what you might learn. Come on, let me go, you fucker. The pathfinding in my room is terrible. Well Alright, I shall go at once. I thought I was saying, but I guess I'm going to leave the other way. So, how would I change my appearance? Oh, there's another basket. Hello. I wonder how I changed my appearance. I'm sad. I, I quite like my character's appearance. I have like a folder of of pictures that I'm like, uh, portraits that I'm like, one day I'm going to find make a character that suits this portrait, and that was one of them. Sadly, I lost the old pa one I used for the paladin I played Hordes of the Underdark with a long time ago. That was a really good picture. But, alas... All right, well, let's wander about and see what there's to see. In the treasury, is there anything else I can steal? All right. Not really. I think I, I did go into all this. Little pile, big pile, big pile, yeah. Nope. Under the sea. Under the sea. Down it gets better, down where it's wetter. Take it from me. This is the wrong Disney movie. But I ran out of lo Aladdin songs a long time ago. So you're gonna have to suck it or you can fuck it under the sea. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, no more of that. <laughs> I think I'll get in trouble. Alright. I don't think Disney likes when you use profanity with their product. Alright, so let's go outside and see if I can stop at a shop. Just want to buy a bag. Please let me buy a bag. Hello, palace guards. How are you? Oh, the door is open today. Oh my. Let's talk. I'm Eris. Hmm. I do like these fountains. Aren't they cool? Alright, well, shall I invade all of my uh, subjects' homes again? Hey, it's that lady. I thought she was going off to marry... What's his name? Maybe she's another old lady. Good day to you. Well... Oh, nice. Alright, let's go start breaking into places. Because we can. Because it's fun. I should probably hide. Ah, one day. One day. I found a cult here last time. Maybe Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash? 
more light novel stuff and book one did not impress you much. But you think it's meant to de deconstruct the fantasy adventure? Hmm. Oh, another specific key required, huh? Well, that could be interesting. I'm picky about deconstructions, I find. I mean, I feel like that's the one genre where you really gotta have someone who loves the genre to do it. And sometimes you read a de deconstruction and you're like, uh, you don't really know what you're talking about. So I'm not saying that this is like that or not. I have never heard of it. But it does make me a little sensitive towards the whole idea. It's like, yes, we know it's terrible. <laughs> Walking very slowly, opening a door. Oh crap! They've 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 key locked all of the doors in the castle. It's like they knew. It's like they knew an anime adaptation, so you can skip the books and watch instead. Oh, fair enough. I haven't read many light novels, it occurs to me. There's one series I read, I'm not sure if it, to be honest, I'm not sure if it's self-published or not. But it was a salary man who got isekayed into a, into a fantasy world because he tried to save the little girl, the young girl who got sucked into the portal. And it was pretty funny. <laughs> There's some criticism that it glamorizes the somewhat unhealthy Japanese work ethic in the whole thing, but it is also very, very funny. Seeing this normal guy trying to protect this girl from exploitation while, like, while saving the kingdom with math. And an abacus. <laughs> I quite enjoyed that series. Oh, hey! Can I open this one? No! Aw, but I can maybe disarm the trap. Actually, hold on. That's... Yep. Should have tried to recover it. Too late. Ah. Okay, well. That, I think, was where I found those cultists last time. I had fun killing them one at a time. <laughs> it was hard. Alright. Actually, I kind of feel like I'm going to be... I'm going to be exploring all of this place and... Not actually get anything done before... Boss Sultan. I should be Sultan by all rights. Really? Why do you say that, dude? A deranged old man. Maybe that's the guy my, uh, Hello. my care, my dad, uh, defeated. That would be kind of interesting. The Temple of the Sicker. Worship of the old gods was forbidden years ago by the Sultan. No one dares step foot in this temple anymore, except me. I am here. I want to see the statue. The statue of a hawk-headed mummy holding an ankh. Fair enough. A glassmaker's shop? I could try there. Maybe I can sell something. Or talk. Oh no, that's their deranged old man. Well, I feel like it's ableist to say that. Another old man. Let's talk to that old man. Oh, and a sewer grate. I can go down into the sewers. Let's, but let's go here. Unless you can't. I can! How fantastic. Hello, Walid. May I speak to you? Welcome. welcome, welcome. I have many items. Not just made of glass, but jewelry and the like. Please show me your wares. Ah. Ooh. If I could afford that, that would be lovely. I cannot, though. That is quite sad. Oh, look at all these things I can't afford. If I came in and was not quite level 13, they might have leveled me up and given me some money. But I was... Not table. Alright, so let's see. Is there anything I want to sell? Can't sell that. I can sell my outfit. Oh, yes, I want to identify this ring. Oh, hello. Well, we're keeping that fucker. What does this one do? Wanda missiles. Nice. Sell an amethyst. I need to free up space. That's the problem. 
I don't really want to get rid of the magic carpet because I feel like there might be a way to deal with that. So I'll just have to look around and see if someone can sell me a bag. I do not know if... Oh, hello, baby girl. What are you doing? Coming to say hello? Today, she's been very sparky. In that I uh, pet her and I get zapped. Okay, well... No, I don't want to sell a fine carpet. I am emotionally attached to it. Alright, I may have to come back. I could always sell some of the fancy traps, but I might need the fancy traps, which I will never use. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. So you're telling me about a series that has a bad reputation because it's, uh... It's porn <laughs> wrapped in a revenge story that's misogynistic. So it's an easy target for virtue signaling, but it does have a fair number of female fans. And if you want something where the male protagonist really suffers before getting ultimate revenge, Redo of the Healer, the novel is a fan translated title, Kaifuku Jutsushi no Yari Naoshi? Huh. My, uh, out of date Japanese. Yari Naoshi? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know if that would appeal to me or not. <laughs> but it sounds interesting. Alright, let's talk to this old man. Oh, let's actually move. And go to the other shop. Oh, I wonder if that shop in the village with the traveling merchant will be there. He'd who I'd sell the, t the carpet back to. Good evening to you. Can I go into the sewer? Let's go back down into the sewer and have some fun. Da, 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 da. Oh, hello. Can I not open the gate? I cannot seem to open the gate. Ah, that's a shame. I suppose I have no reason to go to the sewer anyway. I can't break into my own town. How rude. Wait, I was just here. I wanted to go to the other one. Hello, kitten. Let's talk to these people. I was looking it up and it looks like I did miss a quest in the city when I was playing Desert Rose 1. That makes me sad, but it is what it is. This entire town is a limits tally. I'm very disappointing. Let's go in. Poacher's Emporium. Hello, sir. I don't suppose you have anything I want. Look at these traps. Sorry. Uh, nope. Yeah, I guess I could sell my traps to you, but I don't want to. I'm gonna... I'll probably save here just in case. And when I go outside, I'm gonna have a look to see if there is a merchant that sells bags of holding. Or something. Or that at least I can sell the flying carpet too without guilt. Alright. Let's save here. Because if there isn't, then I'm going to want to reload and go shopping. It is a girl's best friend, apparently. Personally, never really been a fan. Even online shopping. Joe Abercrombie books? Hmm. Universally praised? I've heard of them. I've never actually read them. Uh, is he the one with the first law, or is, am I thinking of somebody else? Most of the fantasy and such I've read is, is kind of old school, I'm afraid. It's, well, when I say old school, not old, old school, but like 90s era. Like 70s to 90s, because that's the one? Cool, cool. Um, because that's when I was the most, uh, well, my dad was collecting books and I was stealing his books and the stuff that was at the used bookstores and such for all that era. So, I am not terribly up to date with newer stuff unless someone calls my attention to something or it just stumble across it and it sounds really good. Or an author I read way back when 
comes out with something new, then it's like, yeah, of course. I want to broaden my horizons, though. Hello. Can't talk now. Playing! Hi. Fair enough. Look at all these things I can't rob. I'm so disappointed. Look at me not being able to rob any of this th stuff. I want to rob the populace. Why won't you let me rob my po own populace? Oh, let's uh, at least disarm that. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. You did, you did, yes. That's an older one, as I recall. Actually, uh, maybe I maybe I do want to reread uh, the. What the hell is this series called? The McKiernan one that was supposed to be Lord of the Rings uh, derived. That has some good bits. Oh, really? Oh. I always thought that was kind of a funny backstory. <laughs> like he wanted to write Lord of the Rings sequel, but then couldn't. So he rewrote. So he wrote a prequel trilogy to take the place of the Lord of the Rings, and then wrote his sequel anyway, just with the new characters. <laughs> I was, I've only read a, a, some scattered books in the series, so I, uh, I'd like to read the original stuff and see how blatant <laughs> ripoff it is. It might not be. He, he's a pretty good writer, so he probably uh, did enough to change the intellectual property element. <laughs> I mean, he didn't get sued, but um, would be interesting. All right, we are back in the f fucking desert. The vast desert is hot and dry, making you thirsty. Hi! You're a fucker. Killing an esp. I didn't even get experience points for killing that fucker. Alright, I'm getting thirsty. Interesting. Uh oh. There used to be a tent around this way, as I recall. Is there none anymore? Apparently not. Well, that's upsetting. I may have to go shopping after all. Figure out what I'm going to sell. Pretty blatant. I remember the later books. I remember Eye of the Hunter, um, Voyage of the Fox Rider, and the like climactic one, Silver Falcon, something or other. And they were pretty good, I thought. Um, I, but I hadn't read, like, the Iron Tower prequels and such. And I figure it's probably pretty plain. But I'm not opposed to folks who make fan, who make fan fiction into original stuff. I mean, my problem with, Ea, with uh, like, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey is just that it's awful. <laughs> oh, hey. Cool. It's bad BDSM, goddammit. Yeah, okay. Well, the tent I was thinking would be here is not, so I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go shopping instead. Let's go back to the town. Mm. Okay. Hmm. I'm looking at my bookshelf. Probably. Hmm. All right, let's see what I can sell to free up space. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, show me, please. All right. Well, I can't sell that thing. <laughs> I want to, but I can't. Uh, oh my! Look at those forty-nine thousand. What a waste. What's a rusty dagger sell for? I don't know why I have that, but I am gonna sell it. Hmm. Look at these. I don't want to sell any- Whoa. I don't want to sell them, though. I might need to kill someone with traps, which I never actually intentionally do. Hmm. I don't mind a good urban fantasy. Um, I don't- I don't know. Lockwork helm. Knife. Seeing that ring. 
problem is I don't want to sell anything. Where's the bar of steel way? Oh, I could craft weapons, but I, I feel like I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't want to sell my flying carpet, but I probably probably have to. No, it's my friend. I'm not selling my friend, goddammit. How much do these weigh? Weigh five. Don't make me sell my friend. Should I sell my traps? Should I sell my friend? Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Magic carpet no longer works. There's no real point to keeping it, I suppose. It is also 25 pounds. No magic. I suppose I'll sell it. <laughs> I'm sorry, magic carpet. You were a good friend, but you're also really fucking heavy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alas. Way too many cringe Oh, so many of my books are cringe. Unlike you, though, I blog about them. <laughs> I own my cringe. Damn it. You will masochistically love these books, too. Or not, I don't care. <laughs> but you will masochistically suffer through my masochistic love of these books. You will know why I say the fellowship is terrible. And you'll be like, you won't even be like, what the fuck is the fellowship? You'll be like, are you still going on about this? It's been 11 fucking books. And I'll be like, they're still terrible! I don't know how I, how I work. Alright. Well, at least I can move again. That's a plus. My poor magic carpet. If only it were... It were were less than 25 pounds. Uh, now I'm going to find someone out here who, who will actually like be able to save my magic carpet and I'll be like I don't have it anymore. Alas, my poor magic carpet. Oh, it was so comfortable. Oh, there's a camel. Alice the camel has five pumps. Can I drink in the... O oh, ah, here we go. Oh, neat. That's new. Alas, the camel has five humps. Alas, the camel has five humps. Alas, the camel has five humps. And I don't actually remember how the rest of the song goes. I think it might be counting. I feel like the desert has changed since the last time I was here. Like, do I know how to get to Alexandria? Did I ask someone? Oh, hello. There's fucking stuff there. I'm thirsty again. Oh, it was a mirage that vanished. Okay. Well, that makes some sense, unfortunately. And tragically. Sand dune. As I recall, signs of fate had a thirst mechanism. It wasn't too bad. But that's because I was in my conjure bags of holding stage, so. If playing it fair, I'm not sure how I will how how I would enjoy that. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. <sighs> Nope. Look at where Yep, okay. Probably a few more minutes and then I'll probably take a... Take a powder. Like I said, unfortunately it's been... It shouldn't be a, that hectic a week. Be, but I think the problem was I took Tuesday off. And um, when you take Tuesday off and Monday off and... 
after a weekend, it becomes a pain in the ass to catch up. Also, it's January, so it's the time of year where it's like, well, we're going to change the way we do things. Or we're going to kind of make sure that you were, you're doing what you were supposed to be doing all along. Congratulations. Now you have to go into a bunch of files and relabel things. Ah, there's the exit. Let's see if there's anything more here to explore. It's like, ah, well... Now I have to oh that and I, I I had a log that I'm supposed to keep be keeping track of and I did not do a very good job keeping track of the log. <laughs> now, thankfully, I mean I have all the records I need to figure out what needs to be in the log, but it did require going through a lot of a lot of things to finish out that log properly and I'm like, oh, why did I do this to myself? This was not how this was supposed to go. So So I'm actually kinda tired. <laughs> Tired, tired. I don't know if you'll see me out again this week, as I said. Um, because I'm dog-sitting, um, I like to go up the stairs and spend some time with the dog and do some other stuff. So it's kind of, it's kind of iffy. But you'll see me next week at a normal schedule. Ooh. That's hard, because, yeah, that, it's supposed to be a quiet period, but it was busy for me, too. Um, I thought I was, like, ahead of, of catching up on stuff, but then then it turned out there was quite still quite a few things I had to do during that time. It's like, oh, I was really actually hoping to... Oh, well, it is what it is, you know. I'm already, like, counting down the days to, uh, which one's coming up? I think, uh, not President Martin Luther King Day. And that's awful. I shouldn't be counting down the days to Martin Luther King, King Day because I want a day off. It's like, I should be like, you know, wanting to to celebrate the man's life and and think about civil issues that are still important to this day. I, that's, that's what I should be thinking of when it comes to that holiday. But nope, I'm just like, oh god, I really want another day off, please. So, that is what it is. All right. I do not think I'm going to fill out this entire map before I call it a night. A part of me really wants to, and I am very thirsty. Shit. Am I going to lose health? Because that would be unpleasant. I know there's an oasis up north, though, so I should probably go up north before I see what this thirst mechanic really does, yeah? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Let's go drink some water. There we go. I am quenched. Alright. Yeah, I think this is a good place to call it. Alright, well, thank you for embarking on a new module with me. This is Desert Rose 2, The Petals of War. And so far, I think it's a pretty good start. Um, I think the plot hook is clear. Like, Desert Rose 1 was fun, but it wasn't entirely clear why you were breaking out of the castle and, and going off to run about to begin with. Which, I mean, it's fine. It's just what your character does. But I appreciate having a clearer mission statement in the beginning of this one. And definitely, it looks like they did a really good job of debugging it, because I haven't encountered any of the weird glitches I, I had in the first one. It makes me want to replay the first one, because cause, uh, the George came out with a with a fixed up version and so now I want to play the first one again and see and see how it's act it actually works the way it's supposed to so but it was still fun even the parts that didn't work right so I'm really looking forward to this okay all right let's see now I'm going to raid out somewhere where I'm raiding I don't know let me close this uh someone who's on ideally I mean, that's kind of a requirement, I suppose. You can't really raid someone who's offline, or I guess you can, but it wouldn't be very satisfying. Oh, we could raid Effector of Change, who is playing Final Fantasy VI. Effector is always a good one. Effector got me into streaming. Effector, Plunge, and Emmy, so... Ah, Lana Kane's doing Metal Gear Solid Three. Snake Eater, that sounds dirty. So, she's also a good one to visit, by the way. I'm still rating a factor, but um, I definitely recommend uh, popping by to see Lana King because she's very fun. And Easley is doing Final Fantasy X. Is it a speed run? It is. I don't quite understand the appeal of speed running RPGs, but 
but I admire I admire folks who do that. Oh shit, I just full screened myself. Why? Stop full screening myself. I'm busy. Uh, see, this is why I have to call it a night. Because <laughs> I'm incompetent, and the incompetency is just growing. So, okay. Well, you guys have a good night. I Like I said, I'm not sure if I'll see you again this week or not. Um, likely on Monday at night. Um, but and maybe Saturday night, I'm thinking. But that's, that's very much hypothetical. So, don't quote me on it. Don't cancel your plans to come see me. I hope you don't cancel your plans to come see me. I am not... I'm not a... <sighs> I have VODs. It's fine. <laughs> if you really need to see what I'm doing, I have VODs. We're okay. Alright, anyway. Good night. Good night.